The multiverse, a hypothetical group of universes. Together, these universes comprise everything that exists. The entirety of space, time, matter, energy, information, and the physical laws and constants that describes them. The different universes within multiverses are called parallel universe. But what if I were to tell you that sometimes the theory of multiverses existing in the same one is more likely than not? In comes Drakenlord, a German YouTuber who is best described on the internet as German Christian. A string of words so intimidating and so terrifying that I thought people were kidding, but oh no, they were right. His story and Chris Chan's are so alike that it's very scary. There are some exceptions, like Dragon Lord didn't finger fuck his mom, but his depressing life is very similar to that of Chris Chan's. They both live in shit and they both don't really care slash do anything about it. But before we dive into his life any further, let me thank the one random commenter who asked me to make a video on Dragon Lord. Honestly, it was kind of interesting figuring out all there is to know about this man, so thanks for the suggestion. But let's move on to the video. Drakenlord, or known by his real name as Reiner Winkler, is a German streamer, YouTuber, and content creator. And he's also a heavy metal fan, hence why he's called Dragonlord. What's up guys? It's Quandale Dingle here. <laughs> I have been arrested for multiple crimes. <laughs> Dragonlord has been the subject of numerous trolling campaigns of both the enjoyment and derision variety. From his channel being shut down numerous times, to his live streams getting hacked only for them to show porn on it, to him literally shitting his pants on camera. and to being called one of Germany's most hated YouTubers. He's uh, been through the ringer. Now, I say streamer in giant air quotes here because in Germany, they have this law where if you have more than 500 viewers, you need to apply for a broadcasting license. And since Dragonlord isn't the most financially stable individual, he stops a lot of his live streams when he reaches the 400 viewer mark. I guess you could say he's suffering from success. Dragonlord used to live in a small village named Emskirchen in Franconia. Hi, Editing Noble here. It's actually pronounced Emskirchen, which I didn't know that's how it's, it was pronounced. I just went off the Dutch pronunciation, but hey, Emskirchen apparently. And from what I've gathered, us knowing where he lives isn't exactly private information because the mad lad himself gave away his exact address online to trolls after challenging to a fight back in 2014. You can kind of see what I meant by him and Chris Chan being very similar. They're not the brightest bulb in the school hallway. A redditor by the name of Kaisuki wrote a thread that kind of perfectly described Drakenlord and his videos. Because his exact address was giving out because of his pea brain, he subjected himself to years and years of trolling, even to the point where 150 people turned up like it was Coachella at his house. The German media outlet even called it the Schanzenfest. Schan Schanzen? Schanzen. Schanzenfest. I don't know, I'm Dutch, dude. But Noble, can't he just move and go someplace else? Wouldn't that solve his problems? Have you seen what this man looks like? I bet you he doesn't even know the difference between a toothpick and a plank of wood. And also, he probably doesn't have enough money to financially move. I hate to say it, but I think he's gonna die in that house. The trolling got so bad that they created a trolling theme for him. And if you know the internet, once a motherfucker takes out his laptop and loads FL Studio, you're, you're as good as done. 
Another parallel between him and Christian is that he proposed online to a girl he met of two weeks. My, my man works fast and he worked quick, let me tell you what. Also im Prinzip will ich dich hier live fragen, ob du mich heiraten willst. Du bist der fetteste, dümmste Idiot, den ich je in meinem ganzen Leben gesehen habe. Overall, starting to scream wasn't Dragon Lord's smartest decision. Not being able to handle his viewership of haters only made him an easier target and some slip ups, like calling the Holocaust a nice thing and advocating intercourse with very young girls right up more people against him than ever before. Another popularly infamous video of his is Dragon Lord Rastet Aus, where he freaks out about his sister being phoned by trolls. This is the infamous video where he would give out his full address. A man of honor, but of stupid honor. But what's going on with Dragon Lord nowadays? Well, it's, uh, it gets interesting. In October of 2021, Dragon Lord was found guilty of causing dangerous bodily harm and breaching his probation and was sentenced to two years in prison, which he is due to start serving very soon. The judge called it a sad example of the consequences of the hatred and bullying on the internet. I don't know about you, but if a judge ever calls me a sad excuse for a human being, I would just ask for the electric chair at that point. Recently in March of this year, the residents of the village he was living in bought the house and demolished it because of the issues it was committing to the community because of the trolls as well as to prevent further unwanted tourism from them. As of right now, he is believed to be living out of a vehicle due to the sales of his house and is awaiting to serve his prison sentence. The worst part about this is reading the article that talks about his prison sentence. Like, I'm not fluent in German, but they just lambast the poor dude. Saying shit like his pants looks unwashed. <laughs> Fucking Christ. He technically doesn't have to serve time in prison, but only the probation. All he has to do is stay off the internet. No big deal, right? Well, he is still very active on his YouTube channel. His most recent video as of time of this recording was two days ago. Good news, seems that he lost his Twitter account, which is good. One less toxic waste dump for him to bathe in. The bad news, he has a TikTok. God, God help us all. As for how Dragon Lord is doing right now, he seems to be doing better. That's not saying much considering this was a guy who lived in a house with flies literally flying on his webcam, but hey, but I'm kinda glad to see him doing somewhat better nowadays. No one deserves to be trolled as much as he was, so I'm glad that this variant of Chris Chan managed to get the neutral ending, all things considered. But yeah, that's it for Dragon Lord. If you want a way more in-depth video on him, I'd recommend Count Dankula's video. But those videos are kinda two years old, so some of those information might be dated. But it's still a good source of information nonetheless. But yeah, that's it for me. A short and sweet video on the individual who thankfully escaped infamy somewhat. Will I ever make another video on him in the future? Eh, most likely, you can believe that, considering how active he is. But for now, I'm content with how this story ended. And if you like this video, consider giving it a like. It helps out a ton.